if you've been following me for a while, you've seen me speak to like dreams and dream interpretations. And I wanted to share a dream that I had on last night after I prayed a very specific prayer to God. Last night, I added some additional things to the typical prayer that I pray. And I was saying, you know what, God, listen, at this point, it's not like I want you to reveal people to me. I literally want you to remove them. If they aren't here for my greatest and highest good, if they aren't meant to be here, clear them out get them out now like I just get them away from me however you have to do it I surrender to your will and I was so sincere in this prayer because I'm just in a season of my life where I don't want the extra like I, I just don't want it I, I don't desire it and um, I'll go to sleep and I have this dream and I'm gonna tell you guys how I broke the interpretation down I'm literally on a train with a group of friends in my waking life I don't know who these people were but I knew there were like five girls that were with me that were all my people four of us were sitting down in our seats and again we're on a high-speed train it's at night we're traveling somewhere far off I have no idea where we were going but the train is moving and there was one friend that just doesn't mean any harm up having a good time turned up as we say and she hops up on the seat in front of us and she's standing up there and she's dancing. I was able to discern in the dream that this this was my closest friend in that whole group of girls, right? And as she's up dancing and having a good time, all of a sudden this guy comes from the front of the train. It was like watching the Secret Service. He was like in a, a tailored black suit. He comes from the front of the train, walks towards the back, scoops her up, throws her over his shoulder, walks to the back door of that train while it's in motion, opens the exit door, and he flings her out. No one screams. Everyone's very quiet. People are caught off guard. But for whatever reason, no one said anything to this man. No one confronted this man. No one screamed. Like, no one made it. They just, it, it was like, it was like everyone just knew this is what it is. He sits on that back seat next to that door after he closes it. And he looks directly at me and he never breaks his gaze. And he just kind of gives me a half smile and he has his legs crossed. And he just looks at me, just a really intense look. So I'll say this, in that segment of the dream, God was showing me a friendship that I recently lost and it was a really close friendship. But for whatever reason, sometimes chapters have to end, right? And the person in my dream had the same characteristics as far as like personality wise of this person so i was able to connect two and two together so he was showing me even that was a part of the bigger plan the next thing i know the scene switches and there's another individual now next to this guy and she's in the aisle and the weird thing was she was in a wheelchair this person had the face of someone i actually knew from high school and i, I haven't seen this girl since i graduated from high school I immediately went to the guy and I'm like, no, you can't, you can't do this to her. Like you can't do this to her. And discerning that after waking up, I understood immediately that God was showing me that there's someone else that's about to exit from my life. This person, because she had the, the familiar face of someone that I've known from school, I knew that this would be a person that I have probably known for decades. Someone that's been in my life a lot longer. Um, the wheelchair in itself didn't represent this person necessarily being weak or this person being handicapped in any type of way. But I discerned it as someone where I don't feel like they're causing me any harm. Like this person isn't a threat to me in any type of way. That's how I discerned it. It could be something else if anybody wants to give any input. But I was literally like, no, like not her. Like you can't do this to her. Like she doesn't like she doesn't mean any harm. Like she she can't she can't harm me. And I knew within the next couple of moments, she would be the one to go to. I know God was just showing me that somebody else is about to make an exit. And it's going to be somebody that I just completely, I didn't see it coming. And despite what was happening on the train, there's a silver lining in all of this because God showed me relatively quickly. The train never stopped. You can always tell people, pay attention to dreams that you have where there's some type of transportation that is involved. So whether it's a car a train, a bus, a plane, always pay attention to that. And your red flags are going to be, is there something derailing you from getting there? Is there something distracting you? Are you still at home packing and you know in your dream, like, oh my God, I'm going to miss this plane. Are you getting to the airport as the plane takes off and you know that you've missed it? 
you know, is your plane delayed or do you miss your plane and now you're having to wait to take the next, like those are the things that you need to pay attention to because that lets you know that there's something in, in the natural realm that is preventing you from getting to your destination sooner. So it's like the universe has provided or, or God has provided a method for you to get towards what it is that you're praying for, or whatever it is that he has in store for you. But sometimes there are going to be things that are going to distract you or that are going to keep you from getting to your destination when you should. And sometimes that's other people and outside distractions. And sometimes that's self-sabotage. You just simply not being ready. You not being prepared to take that trip. So you're not doing the work but you're praying for God to increase your territory and to, to take you into a certain season of your life, but he's showing you you're not prepared. So again, in that instance, there was so much comfort in knowing that it didn't matter what happened. Cause you know, anytime you have those types of incidents in real life on modes of transportation, like, you know, trains or buses or even planes, they're gonna reroute that plane. They're going to stop that bus. They're going to stop that train. There's certain protocols, but he showed me it doesn't matter who's removed from your life in this season. It is not going to stop your projection. It's not going to stop your direction. It's not even going to derail you. It's not going to slow you down. You're literally going to keep going. This is going to be a season where these things are not going to have the same effect that they had on you in other seasons of your life where all of a sudden everything is at a halt now. You will continue in the right direction and you will continue at the right speed. And none of these things are going to have any type of influence on you to where they hold you back in any type of way. Because we have seasons where things like that happen and it's like we're at a standstill. God was telling me, no, this is a season where you're actually going to keep moving forward. And this time, whatever happens, it's not going to impact your journey. That's one less thing that you have to worry about. Just trust me, it's not going to impact your journey at all.